right, let's make sure we are ready for that quarter two exam. Now I want you to notice this variable. If this expression has an equal sign, we are solving for this variable x, which is stuck inside that logarithm. I also am noticing that there are two separate log base sixes being added together. So if you remember from maybe our uh, previous review, that these two logarithms can be condensed into one logarithm, still base six, but the addition turns into multiplication. Make sure you keep your parentheses there. They are gonna be very important. And then I still have this plus two outside of the logarithm equals four. Okay, now I am still trying to figure out what X is and solve for X, which means I need to isolate this logarithm so I can use inverses to solve. So I'm gonna start by subtracting two to the other side and I get log base six of this two times X minus five is equal to two. Four minus two is two. Now I am ready to convert using inverse operations. The inverse of a log base six is an exponent of base six. So this is saying six, squared, remember logarithms are always set equal to the power, will equal the argument inside that logarithm. So six squared will equal two times x minus five. This should be an exponential expression we can solve. This is just some algebra here. I get 36 equals two times x minus five. I'm gonna divide by two right there and I get 18 equals x minus 5. I add 5 to each side to get my final answer that x equals 23. x equals 23. If I want to know I'm right, you can plug it back in and evaluate this. Okay, um, let's go on to the next example. This looks super complex, and I also noticed that I have a value of e. Remember, e is not a variable. It is an irrational number. So we're going to solve for x by first isolating this expression right here. So let's go for it. We're going to add 1 to each side. I've got to undo the order of operations, and I get 1 fifth to the e. Oops, I, and I wrote a half. Said 5. But I wrote a 2. So 1 fifth e to the x plus 2 plus 24 equals 5. Now I'm going to, I'm still trying to get to this x value, so I got to get into those parentheses. So I'm going to multiply by 5 on each side. 1 fifth times 5 is 1. So now I have e to the x plus 2 plus 24 plus 24 equals 25. I'm going to subtract 24. I'm undoing the order of operation. So once I got rid of those parentheses, I'm going to undo that adding 24 by subtracting 24, and I get 1. Now I need you guys to think about this. e to what power will equal 1? So I have e to the x plus 2. This is where strategy comes into play. If I know that anything to the 0 power equals 1, instead of writing 1 here, I'm going to write e to the 0 power. Got to get a little creative with the math. Why do I do that? Because now I have like bases. The one-to-one -one property says if the bases are the same, both of these bases are e, then the exponents have to be equal. So instead of writing one, I wrote e to the zero power. e to the zero power equals one. And now I know that x plus two has to equal zero, which means x has to equal negative two. When I solve for x, I get x equals negative two. You can plug that back in to check your work. Hope this was helpful of reminding you how to solve expressions with logarithms and exponents.